Let's first make it very clear, I'm not making a legal statement in any part of this video. This video is containing my personal opinions and my opinions of my own personal self. So please don't take me to court if you're a manufacturer or this person involved in the video. So let's get right to it. We're going to talk about the owner of the MG ZS that claimed his car kidnapped him, uh, how that might have actually possibly happened, talk about some theories I have that could have happened, and also how he could have stopped it without crashing into the back of a police car. Plus, what I think might have actually happened. Before I get into the video, let's talk about what happened if you don't already know. An owner of an MG ZS said he I'm sitting here in the car and it's driving on its own, but it won't stop. Then he said that what he did was try to get his wife to stop traffic of cars ahead of him, and that didn't work, so then they rang 999, which is the police emergency service here in the UK, to call the police, and the police then it, within minutes, uh, closing off rows ahead of him and working out a solution to bring the car to the stop. What they said they went with in the end was him crashing into the back of a police car at low speed and then the police car using its brakes to bring him to a complete stop. So let's get into what I actually think really happened. Now the reason I'm covering this is because there's a lot of FUD around it and what I mean by FUD is there's a lot of people talking about the reason this happened is because it's an electric car, the owner of the vehicle, the papers, they're all reporting it's an electric car, the owner of the car says it's an electric car, I'll never buy an electric car ever again. Now before we get into why I think the driver talked about it being an electric car, let's just mention very clearly straight away a, a statement here. This problem could occur to a petrol car, it could occur to a diesel car. The main issue is because it was an automatic car, so there was no way of stalling it. So that means it could be a petrol car, it could also be a diesel car. It doesn't matter if it's electric. Now let's discuss how unlikely this is ever to happen. Modern cars are filled with security, safety and all sorts of features to stop anything like this ever happening. So the fact it's he claims it's happened is very, very, very unique, extremely unique. Now let's talk about what speed he was doing. He claimed he was doing 15 miles an hour. None of these safety procedures that are stopped, are meant to stop the car uh, from doing stuff like this occurred and he was claiming he wasn't accelerating. So let's talk about some actual solutions we could have done to bring the car to a complete stop. Now the first thing he could have done to stop the car was to pull on the handbrake. Now this is actually an electronic handbrake on the MG ZS so what he could have actually done is just held it in the up position for about 10 seconds I think from memory and that will apply the emergency brake protocol on that car and most other cars with a manual, uh, sorry, electronic handbrake. So pull it up 10 seconds and that should bring it to a stop. Now let's just pretend, it's very unlikely, but let's just pretend that didn't work. So what can he do next? So the next thing is this car obviously doesn't have an ignition with keys in. So one way would be to turn the ignition off and pull the key out. And that might not also work, but the start stop cars that he was having, so this car had a button with keyless entry where you have start stop, same as also some petrol cars and diesel cars, just, just putting that out there. What he could have done was held down the start stop button for about 15 to 20 seconds. And again, like the handbrake, that would apply its emergency shut off procedure and cut all power to the electric motor and bring him to a complete stop. So let's just pretend that the electronic handbrake had a fault on it, as well as this fault that's occurring to make him not stop. And the start stop button was also not working. So we've basically had three safety systems all fail at the same time, but we'll carry on to see where we could stop this vehicle without crashing it. So he claimed the vehicle was doing about 15 miles an hour. Now 15 miles an hour isn't particularly fast. Now what he could have done, it's an electric car, he could have applied the foot brake. Now the foot brake in an MG ZS, the first part of your foot brake, first like 10, 15% will actually just apply regenerative regen. So the first part of the rake is a faked part of the pedal that would just apply regenerative regen. Then the second part of the brake is the mechanical part of the physical brake like you get on any other car and that would actually apply the physical mechanical brakes of the car. And that works regardless of any electrics. In other words, the mechanical part of the brake would work all the time. It works with the ignition off. It works when there's no power to it. It works 
all the time, unless there was a leak to his brake fluid, which obviously crashing into the back of the police van, we also must have had a failure of those mechanical brakes. Now, there is obviously someone's going to put in the comments, they could have been used continuously by him, which meant they overheated, in which case could have just left a little bit more time to let them cool down and try that with the other two methods all at the same time. But that's just theorized. He said none of these worked. He obviously couldn't use the mechanical brake. So what went wrong. So one theory of it going wrong is he's completely telling the truth and everything he said is absolutely 100% true and in which case it, the car will be taken away by Vossa, MG the, uh, and the police and will be investigated to see this mechanical failure, this electronical failure, whatever happened to the car is not a one-off. Basically is this possible problem inherent to loads of MG ZS's on the road and if so expect a full recall mandatory forced recall for all MG ZS's petrol diesels electrics of a certain batch number that may have this faulty issue with the electronics that is one possible very unlikely solution now my last two theories are probably what I think might have more than likely happened theory one is that he bought some after carpet mats and those mats basically stuck down the pedal of the accelerator, maybe uh, it got him in the way of impressing the brake and therefore he couldn't stop the car because the, the accelerator was stuck. He was panicking and in his absolute panic, um, basically just thought he couldn't stop and the car was running away with itself. That is completely absolutely possible I've seen it before with other manufacturers of cars uh, and you know after carpet match you've got to be careful that they do fit they don't snug and they don't get in the way my other theory which is where my suspicion lies with this whole story is the guy who reported this has a verified profile on Facebook now verified profiles are something that people tend to pay for if they want to be in the public eye or if they're already in the public eye and if you're in the public eye um, one story at the moment that loads of people like talking about and reporting on in papers is anything negative to do with electric cars so the fact that this guy had an electric car public profile and it also went wrong are three very unlikely things to happen now I do see the irony in this the bloke who had the electric Zoe that got flooded but yeah ignore that irony for a bit uh, the chance of all these three happening to someone in the public eye like this is extremely unlikely so there's a very small possibility he's made all this up for publicity and in which case the police will investigate MG will investigate MG will sue him and the police will prosecute him for dangerous driving now if you think this is interesting and you want to see about the zoe that i flooded and how unlucky i was when that happened check out this video here or if you want to know about all the things that electric car owners are lying about check out this video here